It was crazy to hear that Debo Samuel requested a trade from the San Francisco 49ers. And it was even crazier to hear that the Houston Texans might be interested. But before we go in with that video, guys, we're still doing the signed Houston Texans helmet giveaway. As soon as I get to 5,000 subscribers, I will be giving that out. So drop a subscription down below, guys. Answer the Houston Texans question down below is when did Andre Johnson score his first touchdown? Now, when you're talking about a player like Debo Samuel, one of the most electrifying players in the NFL at the moment, still very young. He is 26 years old. You are considering him as a building piece for the Houston Texans if you do decide to trade for him. What is it going to cost? I'm saying it is the 13th pick overall because we're going to have to sign Debo Samuel to a big contract. I know Devontae Adams and Tyreek Hill, they both got, you know, multiple picks. However, those picks were at number 13. They were in the high 20s. I am offering the 13 overall pick for Debo Samuel, and I am probably making, you know, and I'm probably paying him 23, 24, maybe even 25 million a year on the Houston Texans. That's how special Debo Samuel is. 77 catches, 1,400 yards, six touchdowns in the air. 365 yards, eight touchdowns on the ground was just the whole offense himself was damn near 70 uh, 70 of the 49ers offense that obviously you know had a great you know help in with uh, Shanahan calling the plays definitely schemed um, Debo Samuel into you know doing a lot of great things. However, I think he is going to translate to whatever team he gets traded to. I do think he's that special. He is going to come on this Houston Texans team and be the number one option. You, I talked about it yesterday. Do the Houston Texans believe in Davis Mills? I said yes by not hiring Josh McCown, bringing in Pep Hamilton, re-signing um, Brandon Cooks, um, keeping Lerman Tunsil, not trading him. And then if you add someone like Debo Samuel, you are saying Davis Mills is my quarterback. I am all systems go. This sends a message to the team also that, hey, we are trying to win by bringing an elite player like Debo Samuel. It is going to ignite the locker room. It's going to get the fans excited. It is going to get the players excited. And I'm damn sure Davis Mills is going to be smiling when he finds out he has a new elite weapon who could do it all. And I mean really do it all. Could take a two-yard pass and take it to the end zone. A wide receiver screen and take it 50, 60 yards. Could get the contested catches. Throw it up deep. Debo Samuel's going to get it. You the, the fact of the matter is he is so special, so elusive, so explosive. At any moment, Debo Samuel is going to make a play. And when you're looking for the development in second-year QB like Davis Mills, you want to give him every single opportunity to get better. And that's exactly what's going to happen when you add in like Debo Samuel. Why I also feel like they can do that is because you have multiple picks for this year, next year, and the year after that. You also also have to factor in the unlimited amount of camp space we have. Right, It's not going to be unlimited, but 100 mil next year. This is when you can afford players like Debo Samuel. Nick Casario, go ahead and take the risk. He is a special player. He is going to excite the fans. I'm just excited even thinking about adding someone like Debo Samuel because at pick 13, we were even talking about taking someone like Jamison Williams. I, If he was there, I'm taking Jamison Williams. So why not get someone who's proven like Debo Samuel who is going to change this offense as soon as he steps in the freaking building? That's the type of player that Debo Samuel is. The Houston Texans, we've been through a lot of losses, losing great players, losing great games. It's time to start the new regime of the Houston Texans that is trying to win and bringing in players who can, and that is someone like a Debo Samuel. Let me know what you guys think. As always, go Texans. You guys have a very blessed day.